Hello, this video is about automation. What is automation and how do you use it? Automation is having the computer make an adjustment in time for you to any aspect of the mix so you don't have to do it yourself. What this means is if you didn't have automation and you wanted to have a fade out, you'd actually need to fade out by hand every time. That would be impossible if you're fading things out at different times while trying to control every other moving dynamic element in the mix. So it just doesn't really make any sense. Most professional studio mixing boards are automated, and almost all recording programs have automation in them. Automation isn't just for fades and volume changes. You can also automate really any change that you want. So here's an example. Let's take this track. It's got reverb on it. And as you can hear, it's got a lot of reverb on it. But maybe I want the reverb to change, or swell, or do something other than just sit there. I can automate the changes that would be made so when I hit play, they change by themselves. So, first, this red line here that turns yellow when I go over it, this is the automation line. It indicates where that particular element is that you're automating is at. And this section over here, this is a little automation box of the track, this shows which element of the automation is being shown on the red line. So, here it says, reverb, wet, dry. So what that means is this line indicates where the reverb position is. So it's at 57% wet. So if I click this and move it, I can see over, over here, it tells me where it's at. And you can also see down here that the wet dry is moving. Or you can just click on any one of these things down here, and it'll get these little brackets. And uh, that changes it automatically. So. So let's automate some reverb. Let's say I want the reverb to completely go away uh, for this measure, but I want it to go away slowly, so I'll do it like this. You can draw in little points and then move them like this. So now when I hit play, you can see as it goes down, the wet dry down here moves down as well. Less reverb, more reverb. Now, when something's automated, it gets it gets this little uh, red dot next to it. Keep that in mind. So that's the first way you can do automation. The second way you can do automation is you can actually record it as you perform it. So I'm going to move this EQ over here. Now, let's say I I'm just going to turn the reverb off for a second. Let's say I liked that sound, and I wanted to keep that in. Well, it would be really difficult to do that by hand, using this method up here, using the points, because as you can see, as I move this around, I'm adjusting two different things here. So it would be really difficult to go find those two things and adjust it so they move just the way I want it to, like this. So what I can do is I can make sure there are no tracks armed over here, then I can play and record, and now any motion I do here is recorded in automation. So we can see that if we click here, that's what I just did. And as you can see, they have the little red dots here indicating that they've been automated. So now when I play it, you can see that it moves. And also, if you're watching, you can see even though this was turned off, the automation was still moving down here. So now if I turn the two on together, we can see, or we can, I guess, hear what they'll sound like. Now, obviously, that doesn't sound very good, but it's a really good example of how automation works. One other thing to know is that, let's say you made a change to this after it's been automated, this frequency down here. Um, when you change it, you can see that the automation track goes gray, or this kind of dull red, but it kind of grays out. And then the dot over here grays out, indicating that there is automation there, that it, but it's just turned off. So now when I play through, only one element is being automated because I've shut the other one off. So if I want to turn it back on, I can come up here to this red button that's lit, back to arrangement, and then that brings it on.
brings it turns it back on. So if I go over here and I adjust this, you can see immediately this back to arrangement button turns on, indicating that there is uh, an issue with one of the automated lanes. So you can just turn it back on, and it sets everything back to how you had it previously. So I think that's it. Uh, one other thing, in the automation box over here on each track, there is a, there's a thing over here called fades. And fades uh, are just like this. They were what I would recommend for fading out a track, not actually um, coming and going to the mixer and then turning on track volume and then automating in a fade like that just usually doesn't sound as natural as uh, using one of these fades that comes with it so just side note so that's about it